Hey everybody, Jason Burmis here, and for some of the 5,000 plus subscribers we've gotten in the last week, you may not know this, but I do this MMA show with this guy that used to rock people in the face all the time. We're hoping he's going to still be rocking people in the face with some smashing. John Fitch, and we normally took, talk MMA, John. Uh, not a lot of MMA to talk about this week, eh? It's all shut down, man. Everything is shut down. Everything is shut down. Mm. And uh, just two mixed martial uh, mindsets ago uh, is when we started taking it seriously before we uh, get into everything mixed martial arts and beyond. And, yes, we're obviously going to have to talk about the coronavirus. He's on lockdown state California. I'm on lockdown only, state. Only thing going on, and now I'm, I'm seeing uh, videos of freaking drones. Yep, Please you see what I tagged drones. in? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We're going to get there, John. Don't worry. So, guys, if you have been tuning in for to, for my corona uh, virus updates, don't worry. This one's going to be jam-packed. Uh, but, again, I want people to know uh, that they can find the audio version of this after the fact or spread this podcast style via the grueling truth dot com john also does john fitch knows nothing also carried by that network you can see everything john fitch over at john fitch.net including his youtube channel which i really hope john uh you're taking the opportunity now to book as many guests as possible i know you've you finally got the mm -hmm. rockfin thing going tell us how that went uh, I've got a few, um, I've had a few, um, uh, John Fish Knows Nothing, uh, podcast. I've done the Fish and Tinkle, uh, Smash Everything podcast. We've, we've done some of ours. Uh, I did one with, uh, Corey Capella, uh, Red Pill Smash Brothers. So I've been doing a lot of different, different stuff. And then I'm trying to start a live show on, uh, Rockfin along with my technique videos and, and other stuff I put up. But, uh, yeah, we keep having technical issues. Our mic levels are off, and uh, we keep having to, like, reset. We'll, we'll do another show. We'll get mm -hmm. it eventually. Figure it out. I'm sure you're going to get it. And, uh, by the way, guys, mm -hmm. I am going to be doing a Rockfin exclusive uh, today. I know I've been slacking on that, but I will not be able to get away. Well, not Cypress Hill, although when the shit goes down, you're going to be ready. I'm going to be breaking down, and I and I and when I was with We Are Change, we actually did break this down, but I don't think I really got my point across on the uh, very odd, weird, occultic ritual that uh, Madonna put on. And she just put out a really weird video on top of that. A bunch of people in gas masks telling them that they're not going to make it to the future. So if you like my occult stuff and my breakdowns there, uh, we're definitely going to be going in-depth only at Rockfin on that one. So what's this mixed martial uh, arts news that I keep talking about? Well... Looks like Dana White says hell or high water, and again, I'm I'm actually kind of happy about this. <clears throat> Khabib versus Tony's happening. Maybe it's on a remote island. I don't know. The Nevada uh, State Athletic Commission, obviously not. Perhaps Dana White is traveling aircraft, private aircraft to aircraft right now, keeping away from the lockdown states with a horde of fighters like uh, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. John, I'm not sure how this works, but. I'll say this. This is, it's pro wrestling. They're a pro wrestling show, and he has such control over these guys that he just can drag them around by a leash <laughs> for the little bit of bread crumbs, bre bread crumbs and clout. Well, did you see get. Leon Edwards? So Leon hmm. Edwards, amongst this whole thing, I just caught this interview yesterday, and basically he was supposed to be on, I guess, the UFC London card, the first one that got canceled. By the way, yeah. London mm -hmm. on complete lockdown. Right now, folks, that just happened also. The U.K. on complete lockdown. I'm going to show you scary European drones that are going to be scary California drones. Uh, people thought I was exaggerating. I'm sorry I, I was not. Uh, it's actually going to be a lot worse than I said, but we'll get there as well. Leon Edwards was basically told to drive two hours to the airport immediately and fly to America. And he said, where in America? And they said, we don't care. <laughs> just get here basically so they could have him as one of these roving fighters he wasn't able to he didn't have the time um but they were scurrying to try to keep as much as they're stable i guess able to fight as possible so i'll say this john uh obviously i would have rather been blowing up for exposing conor mcgregor as a violent rapist and not allowing him to have that fight in january i would have rather been that Dana White is the devil I'll make a deal with for one UFC event in April that I've been waiting five plus years for. 
Can you imagine, yes. John, how big that will be if it is the only live sporting event in the last month and a half? What are the numbers? Worldwide? <laughs> yeah. I mean, talk about Disney taking off. I mean, right there, Disney's lost a lot of money in the stock market. No surprise. Remember Bob mm-hmm. Iger, he, he re, uh, retired or resigned from his CEO spot just before it started to kick off in America. Weird. Same time as all those senators got rid of their stock. <laughs> weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> so weird. Hmm. And, John, I don't know if you've seen this yet, um, but there's a video out there. Pompeo got to talk about three days ago. You know, Mike Pompeo, ex-head of the CIA. We lied. We cheated. Right. We stole entire courses on it. And you could tell Trump was not let in on the loop three months ago because he starts talking about how they exercised this. And remember last week we left with event 201, et cetera. Uh, we'll get into that later. But when he says that, Trump literally mumbles angrily. He goes, well, you should have told the rest of us. <laughs> like it's <laughs> on video. He's pissed. He's got nowhere to go. Um, John Fitch perspective does the Trump presidency survive the coronavirus? I mean, what's what's the, what else is there to fall back on? I mean, do, do we, we, we're in uncharted Trump, territory, bro. Joe, Joe, Joe Biden is going to lead us to glory. Well, I'm not saying happen. that. But, you know, um, look who's trending and been trending. Oh, I think it already got taken down or it already got reset. But the President Cuomo was trending. And they're building this guy up since the best thing since breakfast. And let's be honest, we're going to have suspended elections, whether they're just local elections or presidential elections. Suspended elections are on the way. These guys have moved the goalposts from two months to four months to six months. I've heard nine months. I've heard 12 months. I've heard 18 months. By the way, this is the military taking over the Javits Center. Remember when I was telling you they were going to retrofit dorms and all that? Oh, they're doing it. I feel that that's a big, I mean, so there's a major, major discrepancies on what people think is going to happen and what, what is more than likely happening. Well, because I, because of most people that I, I see, I think a lot of, a lot of people are just con- convinced that, you know, like three weeks, you know, it's like three weeks and we'll be back to normal life. <laughs> <laughs> no, just no chance. Like again, let, let's look at it this way, right? I, I, my predictions haven't all come true, right? I thought they, I thought Florida would be in the mix of those four states they were vocalizing, but it turns out because of the economy and because of how many people were displaced and because of the infrastructure they built, Florida's just shutting down now. That's trending. So Florida's just beginning their shutdown now. Why? Because mm-hmm. they had how many tens of thousands of tourists and spring breakers spring that they break. knew. Yeah. They would have been the most of the unruly. They would have been the biggest spectacles if they said clear out. Right? Just... So, so let's look at the New York model now. De Blasio yesterday, it's a soft, remember, this isn't a, we're not in martial law, even though we are now using the term quarantine and self-isolation. We're not in martial law. So what's De Blasio announced yesterday? Well, We're going to shut off just some of the streets in New York. Now, what is this for? Well, that's to move the military infrastructure in on those streets. That's all that is. Because they're going to be the ones policing with what? With the police and drone technology. And yes, if you want to see what the scary drone technology they're already using in Europe, here you go. That's really lovely. You'll get to see the nice little infrared camera on the front. This is not CGI. This is not science fiction. This is not part of a movie campaign. Uh, There's the camera right on the front. Now, if you think that that's not coming to America, lo and behold, within 20 minutes of me posting that, I found another little post ski and hutch. (laughs) And um, they're going to be using the infrared ones in California. Because, again, a lot of people aren't going to listen, John. We all know this. So they're, they're asking you now. They'll be enforcing it later. And do you think they're ever going to take the Orwellian drones off the street no matter what happens after this? I'm not convinced. (laughs) Why would we? Wow, it's to cut down crime so much. They weren't supposed to be on the street anyway. So what else do we got? What else is popping off here in the United States of America? Well, the good people over at Facebook, because John, Mark Zuckerberg loves us. They somehow had 720,000 masks just lying around. 
It's kind of bizarre, but they're going to donate them <laughs> to the people that need them in the United States. Well, are they located? They're located in uh, Palo Alto, right? Or well, let's find out where they where they're coming from. The they're located in uh, Palo Alto, but the question is, where exactly are the uh, are the um, masks located? Well, because remember when there were there was. Uh... The fires, there in Northern California, those fires. Gotcha. A lot, lot of people stocked up on masks. I found extra masks that I had, the N, N95s, uh, that I had left over from those fires. Are you wearing those? Uh, I gave the two I had to my kids, and I have one that I have uh, for, I use when I carve stones and other things. <laughs> <clears throat> but um, I, I don't wear it out in public. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I, I'm still the guy that is not that scared of the virus. I told everybody I'd be afraid when it takes John Fitch out. That day is the day I come on here crying <laughs> and uh, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm terrified of it. But <laughs> until then, I mean, I'm more scared of this reaction because, but yeah. here's the thing. They are moving the goalpost, right? Remember again, in the very first times we started talking about it, everybody was talking about the borders being shut down and all the Mexicans that could bring it in. And I was like, well, you know what? Most of those Mexicans don't have diabetes. <laughs> Most of those Mexicans aren't overweight. Um, yeah. Is there, what's the What's the impact on the Latino community? Well, I don't know. Some some some. There's, well, let's there's just a point this out. Usage in the Latino community. New York City, for instance, John. You've been in it. Some of the softest people I've ever seen in my lives. Uh, the majority of the cases are actually uh, men between 18 and 49 years old that have it. And by the way, I wonder if they're very soy. I would imagine many of them low are. You know what? This is a low. What if this is a low testosterone disease, and this is this is God getting rid of low low testosterone men? Mm -hmm. and we're gonna. You know what? I'll believe that's God. Revolution. Show me the first billionaire that drops dead, and then I'll believe it's God. <laughs> <laughs> Show Maybe me the first one. High levels. Of, billionaires they get uh, testosterone injections. They can afford to get the T levels balanced. <laughs> That's how, that's how I believe this isn't some kind of engineered thing, even though... So I start doing the uh, Event 201 broadcast, John. And basically, there are five different videos. I've done the first two. I'm going to do the third one later tonight. And I can't make this up, but it is a pandemic started by a pig farm where the pigs, instead of like the Wuhan market, develop a novel coronavirus that then <laughs> spreads throughout the world and a bunch of unelected bankers... Now, is this a hypothetical story that they told? You know what, John? Why don't we just show the audience? Because it's uh, it's not a hypothetical story they told. They actually did this. They like oh, they basically the segmented plan. it out. Hold on. Here's the exercise one. Let's find it. All right. All right. We got it here. And we'll get it for the audience. And so if anybody hasn't seen... Um, my event 201 stuff, you're about to see some of it. Let's get the volume up here so you're going to be able to hear it. So I want to, I want to get to the, like the first fake commercial where they show you, um, basically they, they have the round table group, Johnson & Johnson, NBC. Here we go. So this is, this is their fake commercial coming up, telling you about their coronavirus in October 2019. And our thanks to, to Dr. Ryan. Uh -oh. Months, perhaps years ago, a new coronavirus spread silently within herds. Gradually, farmers started getting sick. Infected people got a respiratory illness with symptoms ranging from mild flu-like signs to severe pneumonia. The sickest required intensive care. Many died. At first, the spread was limited to those with close contacts healthcare personnel, co-workers, and families. But now, it's spreading rapidly throughout local communities. International travel has turned local epidemics into a pandemic spanning the globe. Just three months ago, CAPS started in South America. So they're calling it CAPS, and instead of China, again, it's from farmers in South America. <laughs> but other than that, the script's pretty weird, isn't it, John? Now, I want to also point this out. The last person... There's a but little. Was, I mean, what was the point of telling that story? This is like a probable thing that could happen. They all right. So who's putting this on, right? Who's putting on Event 201? What are you looking at? 
you're obviously aware of the Bilderberg Group. We've talked about that. Now, the more public mm-hmm. version is Davos, the World Economic mm-hmm. Forum. Yep. So this is the World Economic Forum, and the guy who's heading it up is from Johns Hopkins University. He's the only one with the actual script, right? And then there's other people that come up to a podium and talk, and then the rest of these people uh, are there on behalf of, I, I believe, what is it? The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is helping put that on. They have a seat at the table. It's the World Health Organization, the World Bank, Johnson & Johnson, NBC uh, Universal, uh, the Bank of Australia, the Chinese CDC, the United States CDC. Um, I could continue. Far- uh, Johnson & Johnson from Big Pharma. And listen to what this media bitch has to say. At the very conclusion of this, it's so awesome. Uh, withdrawing antiretrovirals from patients with HIV who have a disease. Oh, wait, wait, we've got to get even further down. And on various social media channels and cable networks, there's been uh, some conspiracy theories that are around about uh, the potential that pharmaceutical companies or the UN have released this for their own benefit. So as we move forward, obviously trust in pharmaceuticals and government is very important at this moment. And so as we move forward uh, with developing the right um, scenarios, we have to make sure that the public communication is a, is a major part of that because of these conspiracy theories. Thank you. We have- so basically they talk about conspiracy theories that question it. God God forbid you say anything about Big Pharma or the United Nations. By the way, obviously the World Health Organization. So, yeah. Uh, I'm when did this switch from a pig to a bat sickness? Uh, again, you just watched fiction. This isn't no, the real coronavirus they thing. Were, they were acting out of fiction and they were trying to decide. They are trying acting out what they would do in that scenario. <laughs> yes! In okay, October... So- of so the almost exact scenario that they they played out actually happened. Yes, and it's and they're still not doing a very good job. <laughs> In fact, when you listen to the thing, it's all about business, and they could give a fuck about the people. It's all about cutting deals, fascist deals between the government, the media, and big pharma. All right, that's all it is. It was Global. like, how do we survive this? Not the, how do they survive? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And it's all about empowering global government. It's a bunch of unelected bureaucrats literally jerking off over each other oh. <laughs> over a bunch of people dying and being quarantined and keeping the supply chains moving. We've got we've been down two. I did two full ones. There's three to go, John. I ain't fucking around, man. <laughs> like people need and that's the other thing. So let's look at the propaganda of this, my friend. On one hand, you've got China and Iran rightfully pissed, (laughs) rightfully pissed, saying, hey, this feels like a U.S. bioweapon. You done fucked us. And then on the other end, you got Trump every chance he says calling it the Chinese virus. It came from China. China, Because it came from China. (laughs) It came from China. (laughs) Think about that. Now... Even if you have the argument that this is some kind of bioweapon, and make no mistake, I do believe that this thing was created in a lab. If it was not, again, show me the first billionaire that drops dead. And the other odd thing is no kids are dying. God, thank God. But let's be honest, nature don't give no fuck about kids. All right, so (laughs) I'm just pointing that out. Just pointing that out. Now, so when you have China, (laughs) and then you have China and Iran saying U.S., why does it have to be a nation state? Seriously. Like, like, sure, it could be in a biological lab, but espionage nowadays, I mean, even our own CIA, FBI, MI5, MI6 is always using privatized intelligence. Booz Allen Hamilton, Stratford, Kissinger Institute, Black Cube. With this, this, to me, reeks of the predator class. Um, again, I'll think otherwise when Ted Turner, Michael Bloomberg, George Soros, Bill Gates, Oprah Winfrey. Put a little bit of money towards helping out. Oh, yeah. And and by the way, who's going to, who lost everything? It was the fucking middle class just lost all their pensions. (laughs) And I called that one, didn't I? I was like, remember when. Billionaires are fine. The super, the super poor and the super rich. They're all right. And now they're saying what? Everybody else, you're fucking poor. <laughs> yeah. And and they're going to make you dependent on the state you're because they're going to pass all these bills that you don't have to pay rent mm-hmm. because you can't pay fucking rent. Because 80% of us are going to be out of work and the rest are going to be working infrastructure jobs in the new retrofitted camps. All right? That's what they are. And by the way, here's the here's another thing, John. 
that I want to show people. Uh, another way they are treating us like children. For instance, the Cuomo thing today, he mentioned the Javits Center. And by the way, this is the U.S. Army talking about the retrofitting of all these buildings uh, in a rapid fashion two days ago. Just want to point that out. He talked about, <clears throat> and by the way, these are the ones currently in lockdown. You could add Florida to this. All right. So they're going down like dominoes. They, they can say it's not martial law all you want. It's martial law. He talked about Stony Brook, Westchester, and then he's like, look, if I've got to bring patients to upstate New York, they got to go to Utica, they got to go to Utica. <laughs> now, he doesn't say any of the locations. By the way, doesn't matter what you think of the virus, the fear and the panic is here. Three quarters of tests come back negative. This is the line. We'll just le let this keep playing. This is the line in uh, uh, Paramus, New Jersey, to get tested in one of the drive through mm. zones. Why the fuck would you want to get tested for this? I'd much rather ride it out unless I'm dying on the fucking ground. I mean, look at this. Look at this, John. It doesn't stop. Yeah, I don't understand the point of getting tested. Like because this. people are scared shitless, dude. That's why. The fear has already taken over. Look at this. Look at these motherfuckers. Take a look. We ain't done. Look around the corner, John. <laughs> oh, and around people, that bench. People, if you don't feel good... If you don't feel good, just drink some water and chill out. So, chill. oh, by chill. the way, don't shenanigans do are... You're already supposed to be at home. Shenanigans are afoot. See this gentleman? He looks like your average pizza Is that delivery Galifianakis? guy. Is he, uh, he stole 29 kits. <laughs> he walked in as a pizza delivery guy. 29 kits. They're like three grand on the open market. Can you imagine what the black market's going to command on those things? Oh, boy. There's Dana. We went over that story. Still trying to get down to my New York story. Again, so much has been moving. But I got these yesterday, obviously from a trusted source. And uh, this was not in the press conference. All these military vehicles were not in the press conference. I've, I've seen a number of, um, of videos of mm -hmm. people watching trains go by with, yep. with uh, Hummers and, and, and Jeeps and stuff on them. Mm -hmm. Well, this is Lock, Albany, New York. Them. And again, we didn't talk about Albany, New York, did we, Mr. Cuomo? Again, they'll talk about Albany in about a day or two. Maybe tomorrow's press conference, maybe the day after. They're setting up shop over at Crossgates Mall right as we speak. They're building a triage there. So that's another thing they're not telling you. And I was telling you about it yesterday. So, so much continues to go on. Um, I would assume the drones are coming to New York in rather short fashion, John. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. Um... What do you, what's your line in the sand? Like, would you take the vaccine? I talked about this in uh, one of my podcasts yesterday. And yeah. I was like, they're going, they're going to, uh, <clears throat> they're going to normalize like those robot dogs. <laughs> and uh, they're going to come house to house with people in their hazmat suits that are doctors or they'll say they're doctors. So uh, Nazi robot, robot dogs. dogs from Wolfenstein 3D. Yeah, so, yeah, they'll have the robot dogs that'll come and we'll get normalized in, the, in the, that image of the robot dogs and the doctors coming in with the hazmat suits. And then one of the times, you know, and while they're giving everybody examination, they're going to scan the house for guns and, and shit. Well, I think and the then, gun uh, sweeps are real. That's a, They're going to come back and they're going to do some gun sweeps. And So let's talk about New Jersey for a second. Um, while I was watching the further lockdown of New Jersey today, because, again, I'm watching all these fucking things, uh, mm -hmm. one of the things that's odd, but it's not that odd to me, seeing the American mindset and they're treating us like children and a pet, is that essential services include Big Macs and McDonald's and your pizza delivery. As long as you can get your pizzas, everything's okay. But what's not? And liquor Just stores. Keep spending. Just and, keep spending. And liquor stores, John. Remember, I said there would be upheaval once people can't drink. Well, they're making sure that's happening. What isn't an essential service in New Jersey and a lot of other states? Gun shops. In fact, you can't get your pistol permit. You can't get Some your background check. They're arguing check. to try to get GameStop as a business that was an essential service because people needed video games. Mm -hmm. And unbelievable, right? As long as there's delivery and pickup or takeout. The, again, that will, that will go away as more military comes in and more infrastructure gets built. So don't worry about it. You're still going to get fucked in the ass, too. I just want to let everybody know that, that, that you're basically just going to get to, you know, watch it burn down when everybody starts going for their bank. When, they, when people start realizing, wow, there's 20 states locked down. 
How's the economy going to survive this? Oh, we'll just print true two trillion more dollars. Sure. And and one of the things <laughs> in this fucking in this exercise, right? So the the representative of the World Bank is just smiling and he's so happy and he's like We'll just give loans to the second and third world nations and invest in their infrastructure. Translation. Oh, yeah. Well. yeah, translation. We own your shit. <laughs> <laughs> we own your resources forever. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh. So what are you doing to keep saying? I, I saw the, uh, you want to show the folks uh, your, your art piece there? <laughs> uh, I've been, uh, well, I was just playing with the kids mostly, but yeah, I'm also uh, getting being crafty and making stuff. I, see, I'm doing. I'm actually drinking whiskey at night. I'm doing the Basil Hayden's, and and I never drink at home, but I'm doing the hot toddies, a little uh, organic honey, some boiled mm. down Basil Hayden. Shoot that back. Try to enjoy life. Get a little less tense uh, after seeing shit like drones flying. <sighs> yeah, it's. Um... I mean, there's nothing you can do about it, so just, like, whatever. But, all right, so here's the next thing, John, and this is going to go get your right go your... Get your go bag ready and then make a plan. You might have to head for the woods. <laughs> it's not, honestly, like, what is what is there to do? Like, if they car start sweeping houses, like, your choice is to get taken away and see how that works out, or you, you head for the, the, the woods. <laughs> I agree. Uh, listen, again, I got my family here. I at least know local law enforcement. I'm hopefully going to be able to grease some wheels. I'm kind of personable. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> that that is the case. And a lot of people have called me a coward for that. They expect me to be Bruce fucking Willis, and I should be calling for an armed revolution against the United, Mil uh, United States military industrial complex uh, because I'm Will Smith, apparently. I'm, I'm the white Denzel Washington, and I'm ready to take the man on with witty fucking sayings as i you know i shoot down evil it's cold outside right now too man. <laughs> <laughs> i want to sleep i want to sleep outside i got an ice storm going on we got about an inch of snow already <laughs> it's freezing out where i am for real oh john you like to talk about relationships a lot of things that people aren't even putting into consideration is if you don't have a girlfriend or a wife you ain't getting laid Flip side to that, if you've never well, spent actual time with your girlfriend or wife for days at a time unabetted, you're getting a divorce. <laughs> like, this is going to test some fucking relationships. People think people are going to be dying from the coronavirus. How about spousal murder? <laughs> like, you watch HLN. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the thing is, um, the dating, your dating profile and your, uh, your Tinder and, uh, and, and the other ones are going to have to change because the girls are looking for somebody who knows, uh, how to survive. So like survival <laughs> skills, you know, you can, you can, you can cook, cook good meals on limited supplies. Mm -hmm. You have, you have a wealth of ammo and <laughs> firearms. Well, do yeah. you think that more you know, chicks will arrow, just start shacking up? Bow, trained. Maybe you're an ex-seal or ranger. Chicks will, chicks will be way more uh, interested in you. Well, do you, th you think that'll be a realization? Like, think about it. I, I mean, I, have, I know a ton of women right now that are still in complete denial about how bad this is going to be. They're still thinking, oh, it's going to pass in two, three weeks. They got like a week's worth of food. They've never been on a bread line. You know, before this gets f fully fucking enforced, I mean, are you going to find, like, as soon as one state falls, like, when people see what's really going to happen in New York City, when the panic ensues, do you think you're going to have people, like, begging to get in on houses? <laughs> you know, I didn't love Chad, but I love Chad right now. <laughs> no, it's, uh, yo, and if a lot of the industries kind of collapse and there's no more, there's no more, you know, tech. I mean that's that's one of the reasons why women have been able to to join the works workforce in such such numbers is because the 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 work is non physical, and it's it's compared to his, you know history, mm -hmm. it's a lot easier. It's not that it's you know easier. It doesn't take skill or hard work. It's just that it's easier than you know pouring concrete or cutting down trees or driving trucks or whatever. It's 
Well, all right. So let's talk about what they've already announced, right? So in New York State, if you're not aware, all hospitals, and this isn't New York City. I want to to make that extremely clear to everybody. This is the entire state. All hospitals have now been mandated to have 50% more beds, and he wants 100% more beds. For layman's terms, and I'll get to that uh, super chat in a second, flick off. Thank you very much. If you have 2,000 beds in a hospital... That means now you are mandated to have 3,000 beds, and he wants 4,000 beds in that hospital. I have in my, not even my county, in my town of Oneana, four hospitals. (laughs) All right? They already have the biomedical tents there. So, again, they're preparing you. Think about that in New York State. Now, I got a call from somebody who lives in Montgomery County that's even further away than I am. Uh, he's a nurse, and they want him to come down to New York City indefinitely and work in an unspecified uh, area that's already being built. They're talking about this being a World War II-like effort. Here's the difference from World War II, John. Half the fucking population wasn't working in World War II because the women were at home. There's a reason it was Rosie the Riveter and not Ronnie the Riveter. Ronnie the Riveter... <laughs> was working and keeping the country going or fighting at war. Rosie the Riveter manned the wartime factories. Now it's going to be everybody, dude. And those millennials that, you know, have never worked a day in their life and thought, you know, ironic flip-flops and sunglasses were cool with a bad mustache, they're in for a fucking (laughs) reality check like no other, brother. Um, that's how I feel about it. I mean, again, I'm hoping it's six months. I don't want to be on any bread lines, period. Flick Off says, lockdown for New Zealand for tomorrow night. Jesus. So New Zealand's down too, huh? Won't affect me at all. Cows still got to be milked. Yeah, you're a farmer. Good for you. You're like set for this Flick Off. <laughs> a dairy farmer? That's like the number one stunner right Man, now. Man, I wish I had some chickens right now. I'd be, <laughs> I'd be set. Oh, you know? my brother has chickens. He, you know, yeah. he's starting to come yeah, around to how chickens, bad it is. Three chickens, you'd be doing all right. You'd be surviving. <laughs> you have eggs, Locked right? For a while. Yeah, just catch some rainwater. Mm-hmm. Filter that. Man. Oh. What's, what's John Fitch's guide to survival uh, during uh, the coronavirus apocalypse? Ammo. Ammo. What if you can't get it? <laughs> <laughs> you should have gotten it a long time ago. <laughs> Well, thanks, John. It's your responsibility to be prepared. (laughs) So I talked to, uh, I was talking to one of my buddies, uh, and he was in Saratoga. Now, he's he's a pretty fit guy, but he's a a diabetic, all right? And we all know that they're already telling us there's a chance for, um, you know, uh, basically uh, medical supplies to be, you know, out of the supply chain for a while. Might not be able to get it. Now, don't get me wrong. They're still patting us on the head and telling us we don't need to hoard food and toilet paper, but ask me how that went for you. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Didn't go so great. So he's in Saratoga uh, the other day and I'm like, Hey man, what's your plan for this? He's like, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm like, are you even home right now? He's like, nah, man. I, he's, I'm like, are you aware they're about to lock us in our homes for fucking two to six months? Do you have any kind of food, whatever? He's like, no, nah, but I got a lot of guns and ammo. <laughs> and he's, he's out in the, in the country, and I'm just like, all right, we need to talk. So, you know, the restrictions haven't been set. I don't know how it is for you, but I'm still able to walk and get coffee. And right now the cops aren't doing anything. But that's going to change in short order once it's the military on the streets or once the drones are deployed. Um, do you think the people with ammo shoot those drones down? Man, I don't know. I would never. <laughs> never, right? Never, you... never, never. Don't even look at my, my guns were lost in a boating accident. <laughs> oh Legendary. boy. So Fitch, what do you got planned for the week? You got anybody, uh, squared up for this or? Uh, well, hopefully, um, yeah, I, I don't have anybody right now. I've got a few people in mind, uh, but I have um, some gardening, hopefully, to do. I uh, germinated some seeds with the boys. I saw that. That was yeah. cute. And I, and I got our next video of us putting some of the – some of them sprouted, and we put them into some dirt, but not all of them sprouted. Mm-hmm. So we're going to wait a few more days to see what else might pop up. Now, were you still room. referencing that as a victory garden, or is that now the uh, apocalypse garden? 
Oh, I, I don't know. It's the, I, I call it the apocalypse card. <laughs> I I could teach the boys, you know, some some uh, uh, arithmetic or some uh, you know spelling, whatever for school. But I was like, you know what? They might they might need to know how to make food. <laughs> I mean, there's still some people that think that school's going to go like hasn't been closed uh, throughout the country. You know what I mean? And I and I just don't think they get it. Um, how long until the bank runs? What do you think? Like the bank runs are kind of already happening. Like for instance, even before the lockdown here in New York. Well, here's the thing with the bankrupts here, though, is that um, everything is a is a digital marker in the U.S. Anyways. Uh huh. You know, so it's because like the banks only have they they have what one dollar for every nine dollars they give out. If that. So, <laughs> yeah. So like they've never they never have the money, but you still have your digital number. It's mm -hmm. still it's still logged. So do you think that's it? Do well, you think that they're going to just allow hyperinflation I think, I think that way? Like we're the, I think we're the nation that has that currency. I think we can. We're okay. We're not going to get hurt by bank runs. If we were, you know, some other country and people are going bankrupt and, they're, and, they're, and their money is banked off of our money. I don't know, man. That makes sense. I don't know. You're more, you're more optimistic about it than I am. I mean, they just tried to pass a $2 trillion package. Now, mm -hmm. I ask myself, you know, everybody talks about a check, but since no one's really going to be able to go outside and they're going to be discouraging every American that's getting that check, it's probably 200 million plus, right, at this point, from actually going to a physical bank and depositing it and all the problems that are already going on and the fact the stock market is already all digital right now, right? They can only trade online. Uh, the floor is closed. That should be extremely suspicious. Maybe they do keep the digital infrastructure uh, moving and you go to a website much like the failed Obamacare to apply for your check and it's just a direct deposit you know um, I think it's really tough to tell because we're already in hyperinflation now it's visible hyperinflation and the people that would be pointing this out more than anybody Rand Paul have tested positive for positive for COVID-19 and now been quarantined the last three days oh you missed that one Yep, Michael. Well, see, does that mean he's not allowed to talk? Nobody's going to let him talk. <laughs> I don't know. He hasn't been around. Like he, he, he announced it yesterday on his Twitter. But his staff says they haven't seen him in several days. And Mike Lee, who's a, you know basically the only other guy speaking out against this, he self quarantined like six or seven days ago. So there's no one out in the public screaming and fucking ranting about how fucking bad all this could really be and how you know finances could crash. That's extremely suspect to me. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't want to say we're going into road warrior. Like I'm not, you know, we're, I'm not there yet, but there's no way that the dollar is going to be able to be the dollar after this. I just don't feel it. I, I think, I, I don't know. I, I just feel like we're, they're going to try to give us something else. Maybe this is the birth of the social credit score in America, the meritocracy. Yeah, everybody gets a credit. Everybody gets a token. You get a token. You get a token. How much better to start it? Month. There, listen, if there are, all right, so what? You're going to give checks to everybody, but you're not going to be giving checks to the people that own the real estate. Oh, you're going to bail out the fucking um, airport industry and the cruise line industry, but you're not going to give any of the workers a piece of that. Like, none of it makes any sense, and it's going to be on a hyper level where people are desperate, hungry, and upset about drones. So, you know... I don't have a crystal ball, but things don't seem good. You heard Weinstein tested positive, right? Mm hmm Yeah. And guess what? De Blasio openly let another 200 prisoners out of jail today. <laughs> <laughs> That's over 500 prisoners are gone. My money is, John, by the next time you and I talk, the first prison riot has happened in America, most likely in New York, most likely Rikers. If Rikers has a prison riot, can you imagine the panic that ensues after that? That's movie level shit. That's that's movie level shit. They might they might just leave them all to rot. <laughs> what do you think they do? They just hit record on the fucking tapes and then like it's especially a year later. <laughs> like like Rikers one year yeah, after the coronavirus. They, no, I think they they shut everything down. They shut all the electric down, no more food. So it's Shut Natural it Born Killers, where they take Tommy Lee Jones's head off <laughs> and fucking just, you know, after, like, violently raping him. That's what you're telling me. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. They're like, nope, you're on your own. 
Mark him down. <laughs> Folks, normally we'd be talking fights. And you know what, John? I'm thinking maybe we'll pick a fight, like a legendary fight, and maybe watch it before next week and go over it. You know, since no one knows if MMA is ever coming back or anything's ever coming back. You can listen to this at thegruelingtruth.com after. You can follow John. And, John, are you – so, again, you said you're going to try to do some online seminars, right? Tell people about that. Um, well, actually, I, I, I put up um, an appointment schedule so people can contact me for uh, online coaching. Mm-hmm. Do, like, half-hour calls. A uh, wide range of things from strength training to uh, diet, nutrition, cutting, making weight, fight strategies, that type of stuff. Because um, if you then, have to, yeah. listen, John, if you have to fight your neighbor for a fucking pork chop, you want to win. <laughs> right. And then I'm working on a of stuff. I'm working on a, um, a free net care package that people can sign up for my email list and get, a, get, get that if uh, you have neck issues. It might help out. Mm-hmm. I kind of just break down what I do and what I've done for mine from exercises to nutrition and supplementation uh and stretches would be good and then i've got the weight cutting book should be out four to six weeks We're working on the cover now everything i think got a little bit slowed down because of the uh quarantine yeah yeah it's but gonna it be tough start getting stuff done quicker now because everybody's at home <laughs> i mean well that and a lot of people are going to be weight cutting without trying <laughs> mm. <laughs> I mean, minimize your calories. Yeah, you know, I hate to have Get some morbid humor it. for you there, folks. But uh, as soon as, like, again, the military is more in place and the drones are more in place, bye bye McDonald's delivery and Grubhub. You know, enjoy the dominoes while you can, folks, because that's not going to last uh, long. I really, th- I feel like that's so American. Like, it's so American to leave that as an essential service for the fucking disgusting some, some people do some people do not know how to feed themselves some people they do never they never ever ever cook their own food i know it's always it's always eat, it's always eating out it's always fast food it's always something they bought at the store microwaved always always guys if you want to support me, we almost hit the $5,000 mark. I think we can probably do that in the next two days. I want to thank everybody who has supported me this month, and hopefully next month we're still afloat. Uh, I haven't been ta- taken off of YouTube. By then, I mean, shit, if things keep going, guys, I'll be at 50,000 subscribers before the end of the week. So we'll see. I mean, if we got to get to 100,000, great. Again, we're going to have a Rockfin exclusive coming via that uh, Madonna video. You can check John Fitch out right here as well. There's the Fitchster. Um, so John Fitch also on Rockfin. That means if you subscribe to either of us, you get both of our content. It's pretty cool. It's like a Netflix for creator that went up a little bit. That went down a little bit. I got a lot of Ray tokens. So at least I got a little crypto to work with. (laughs) So, uh, you can also buy Ray tokens guys. And again, make sure that you're subscribed 44,000 strong out of nowhere. Again, I wish it was because of a different subject, but, uh, you know, these times are important too. Peace out Cub Scouts. We'll see you on the flip. Thank you, John. Yep, check you later.